So I'm out here on a service call for this train package unit. Uh, we just got done putting in a bunch of these package units here at this site. Um, and what I was having is this fan was running and it actually was running and it kept ramping itself down to 40 hertz for some weird reason. Um, so it was running at, it's, I was setting it at 60 hertz on this VFD and it kept automatically ramping down to 40. Um, finally kind of figured out, it was just really weird, you know, I didn't think it was power because I have a, or power related because I have a phase monitor right here and right now I have the disconnect off. But usually if you look in that little light there, you can, if it's green, it means you're good. If it's red, it means you have a fault uh, in your phase. Like you might have a fuse bad or one of your legs of power is bad on a three phase unit. Um, so I had power going down here. Um, I pulled out these three fuses here are actually what goes to the the VFD and the in the motor here um, so I instantly kind of checked and I saw that I didn't have the right power and I just kind of assumed it was a fuse so I pulled all the fuses fuses out with my little fuse puller here uh, and I ohmed them all out and I actually have good all those are good so I started kind of looking at what's going on um, my power is coming in right here um, and I tested there and my power is very weird. Obviously I basically have clearly a leg out uh, when I was testing my power, uh, my volts and everything. Um, so I went back and just kind of verified that my phase monitor over here was good. So knowing that my power basically from the disconnect in is good because my phase monitor was lit up, kind of eliminated some stuff there. Um, and then from now I kind of eliminated everything on this end to the point where I know it's somewhere between these three wires right here going back to over over here where I'm getting all my power so it's somewhere between there and there um, pretty much instantly started following this wire up going up here and like I said I got my power off so I know I'm good there and kind of ran into this you can see that my plug that wire popped out of this Molex plug right here. So I have a bad connection right there. Um, the water is a totally different issue we got going on here with the humidity um, from what these people are trying to do in their space is creating all sorts of humidity. But um, my, my fan, that is the big thing I'm running into there while I'm not having my power is basically I'm losing a leg of power right there. So. I'm going to figure out what's going on. I think I might hopefully be able to just push that further back in there. Um, if I'm not able to do that, I might have to get a different Molex or bypass it or something. Um, but that's what I got going on now. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can fix that on site. I'm hoping I can and then get these guys up and going. And I'm, like I said, trying to ramp the fan speed up full fan speed uh, to move more airflow across this coil to create get rid of all this condensation issue um, but yeah I just ran into that kind of a goofy little thing I've never seen that before like I said these units are like brand new um, so that was just kind of a weird thing to see so uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe and thank you guys for watching